Hi, I'm Donna Duffy from Academic Connections Tutoring, and I hope you have a chance to get outside today. It's an absolutely gorgeous November day. The breeze is blowing, it's crisp, it's wonderful, it's an ideal day. So I do hope you get a chance to do that. Over the past couple of days, you probably received a uh, postcard from us with a beautiful fall scene on the front, and on the back, it, it tells you that we've got a report for you that will look at five fundamental tips to keep your child's grades from falling. Because the only thing that should be falling this time of year are the leaves, not your child's grades. When you get that first quarter report card, that is a great time to, to take stock and decide what you want to do as you launch into the second quarter. So let me quickly go over those five tips with you and hopefully that'll give you um, just a, a little bit of a, of a help as you're pushing that direction. The first one is what seems to be the problem here. One of the things we need to do is early on assess what the problem is. If our kids can't voice it, if they're not sure what it is, that's the time to uh, get in the home access center and see what might be missing. Maybe it's assignments or projects. You can early on determine what that is and then uh, connect with the team, bring your child on board and get everybody on the same page. The next thing is you need a plan. Knowing what the problem is is one thing, dealing with it is another. So making sure they have a plan in place that your child knows at every, every day when we get home from school, 3.30 I'm going to do my homework, I want everything done by, by dinner time, helping a child feel like they can progress through and make some progress, get some, get some traction so that they're getting the things done and they're feeling like they're moving in the right direction. The third thing would be all the right stuff. When your kids come home, do they have everything they need or do they have to go on a scavenger hunt? Now sometimes um, kids have things in their backpack and they're very organized. Some other kids are all over the place. So it's important that we have that kind of homework central in our house where they can land and they can find everything they need and they can jump right to it. The next thing would be no mom is an island. It's important that as moms as parents, we're surrounded by a support team and we know that our child is as well. So make sure that you've got everybody on board working uh, for your child's behalf and best interests so any grades that are falling can immediately improve in the second marking period. And then how's that working for you? It's going to be important that whatever you do put in place, there are touch points along the way so that your child can go back and see if they're making the progress. If something isn't working the way it needs to, then make that adjustment early on. Don't let it go a couple weeks forward without catching that and, uh, and making sure that things are altered and adjusted so your kid can get the, the best out of, uh, of the plan that you set in place. As you know, we're here for you at Academic Connections Tutoring with our complimentary in-home consultation. We come in, we visit with you, we do an informal assessment, help to understand where your child is struggling, and then put a tutor in place that will tailor and customize all of the tutoring sessions to your child's learning style using your child's curriculum from their school. So if that's something that you'd like us to help you with, don't hesitate to give us a call. You can visit our website at actnowde.com or give us a call at 302-383-4325. Don't forget to get outside today and crunch around on the leaves, and we'll see you next time. Thanks.